Katie with your Galco TV Tech Tip. HVAC stands for Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning. It refers to the different systems, machines, and technologies used in locations such as homes, offices, hallways, and transportation systems that require environmental regulation in order to improve both thermal comfort and air quality. Although the three main functions of HVAC sound separate from one another, they all work very closely together to achieve proper thermal comfort and air quality. Proper HVAC systems can provide ventilation, reduce air infiltration, and maintain pressure relationships between different areas. This concept of air delivery and removal from spaces is known as room air distribution. Heaters, as the name suggests, generates heat for the building. The most common form of heater systems today are central heating, such as a boiler, furnace, or heat pump, to heat water, steam, or air in one central location in the building, such as a basement or a mechanical room. The generated heat is then transferred by convection, conduction, or radiation. Ventilation involves changing or replacing air in any space to control temperature or remove elements such as moisture, odors, smoke, heat, dust, airborne bacteria, or carbon monoxide. Ventilation systems are also used to replenish oxygen in an area. Ventilation covers both exchanging air with the outside of the building and circulating air within the building, and it is crucial to maintaining indoor air quality. The two main forms of ventilation in use today are mechanical and natural ventilation. Air conditioning provides cooling and humidity control for the entirety of a building. Air conditioned buildings generally have sealed windows as open windows make it more difficult for the system to maintain the desired operation. Air conditioning generally works by drawing fresh air into the system by a vent into the indoor heat exchanger, which creates positive air pressure. Air conditioning and refrigeration are achieved through the removal of heat, which can be achieved through radiation, convection, or conduction. These refrigerants can contain water, air, ice, and various chemicals. These refrigerants are then employed either in a heat pump system, which uses a compressor to drive a thermodynamic refrigeration cycle, or using a free cooling system, which uses pumps to circulate a cool refrigerant. For more on HVAC systems and our full catalog of products and repair services, please visit us at galco.com.